For me, dancing is my life. It's a stress release. It's my medicine. It's my escape. Professional dancer, choreographer, and teacher, Chris Fonseca moves to the hip hop beat with synergy and precision. An enviable talent made all the more impressive given Fonseca has been profoundly deaf since early childhood. There's a stereotype that exists where deaf people shouldn't be able to connect with music. They shouldn't be able to dance. But music is a universal language. We, as deaf people, access music through feeling. Using a tactile audio platform called Subpack, Fonseca experiences music through pulses against his body instead of sound waves in his ears. What is Subpack and how does it work? The beats come through the pack and they essentially spread out across the back and down my arms and down through my legs. So I actually feel vibrations from head to toe. It's like a wireless connection to the music. I can move around and connect to the music at a much more granular level. Subpack accurately translates deep bass frequencies into high fidelity vibrations across the user's body. These vibrations can be felt in several ways, including conduction of sound via the bones. This immersive experience is available to deaf users, but also to hearing members of the music community who want to appreciate their art at a deeper level. Like DJ and record producer Timbaland. Everybody looks for that next evolution being involved with changing the way music is heard. And that's what I want to be a part of. Everyone can use this. Do you think that reveals a little bit something about music? That music is more than just sound? Oh, absolutely, definitely. It's about feeling and hearing at the same time in parallel. Fonseca's talents have led him to star in commercials such as this campaign for Smirnoff. Everybody be and to choreograph music videos such as More Than Words by Sleepwalkers featuring MNEK. Whenever I say yes, you just say no. Whenever you say stop, I start to go. You are a proud member of the deaf community. Do you think it's important to represent this community in your work? I think it's really important for me to be able to be a role model for other dancers. But you know, while being deaf is absolutely a part of my identity, the skills I have are so much more than deafness. And I want to encourage the deaf community to focus on their skills. And, and Chris, what are your dreams for the future? You know, what would you like to do with your choreography and your teaching? I want to carry on doing what I love. I'm one of the few professional deaf dancers. I want to see the number of deaf dancer role models grow so we can pass on our passion to future generations.